So hello everybody, maybe you watched my previous video about the Cork Trinity plugin which just got released and one thing it misses is you cannot import your own preset banks into the plugin which is really a big big drawback but in this video I will show you how you can do it anyway and also how you can make it sound like an O1W at least without the wave shaping. So when I did the last video, I noticed that there are several sounds named like O1W and also you find some samples which are named like this. And then I was curious how close I actually are together and what is the compatibility between the two devices. Turns out they are quite different, but nevertheless, I found a web page where there is a bank which emulates most of the factory presets of the O1W and it's worth checking out this page anyway because it also contains other banks with really good sounds. Sadly, we cannot use the sounds which require the MOS board since this is still missing in the plugin as well. But nevertheless, some really good sounds on this side. But I was curious about that one. And then I got even more curious, how could I bring in this program bank into the plugin because there is no import feature or anything. Yeah, I looked around a bit <laughs> on the hard disk how this does actually work. And if you dive in here on Windows, in your programs files folder, there is common files. And in common files, this is a folder where also your clap or your VST3 plugins are located. There is also a folder called Cork. I did not check what the folder location is on Mac OS, but I guess if you're a Mac user, you know how to find this folder as well. And if you open it up, there are several files for different Cork plugins. And the one we are after is the Trinity folder. And it contains a presets folder. And then there is a PCG data. And ah, okay, so here we have the banks which are loaded here in the browser. And then I thought, okay, let's have a look at that file. And yeah, it turns out it's a simple and plain program bank of the Cork Trinity. So then I thought, why not simply add the file I downloaded here, the O1WPCG file into that folder and you need administrator privileges to do that because it's a programs folder and we add that. And then we could reload the plugin and look at the bank and it's not there. So, <laughs> so hmm, would have been too easy. So I took a look at the Trinity plugin and it turns out they really hard coded the file names of the banks to load. Okay, how bad is that? From that, I can only think that Cork definitely does not want you to load your own sounds for whatever reason, because otherwise they would have simply coded that load all the files from this folder, which is not the case. So I don't know about that. But okay, but then I could not stop thinking and I thought, okay, why not let's simply <laughs> rename that name to one of the others? So we don't need really uh, the general MIDI bank. Uh, I, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, Nevertheless, you can always restore that. So the only thing you need to do is best is just to drag it out somewhere, for example, here on the desktop. Again, you need admin privileges to do that. And then let's simply rename that to general. Make sure it's also an uppercase, like it is <laughs> hard coded in the plugin. And now let's have a look. Let's reload the plugin so it loads the new bank, hopefully. And let's have a look at the browser and here is still a general media bank but da da it contains the sounds of the sound bank so how cool is that so the my lovely fmrl sound from the o1w let's give it a listen Sounds very O1W to me, or the lovely string sound. Great. Also, total kit, the drum kit, and all the nice sounds are there. The rest bass. Yeah, but you do not actually want to replace that forever. So there are 
user banks. So how do you get these sounds now into the user bank? Sadly, there's no way to select multiple sounds or to copy them in any way. You really have to save each and all of them, which is not that bad because I guess you don't want to keep all of the sounds. You don't need the piano maybe. But if I wanted to keep here, let's say, what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, let's go back to the respace. If I want to have that sound, I simply say save it. And then I go, I already started adding some in user B. Let's go to, to two. Sadly, you also don't see the names here, which is also really bad, I think. So you have to look that up before that you don't overwrite one. And nevertheless, you can give here some... It's synthesized, it's uh, more like mono, long, short, I don't know. It's more like, uh, more like dark, slow, single, modulated, sustained. Okay, like this, and then let's go save, overwrite, yeah. And then you have it here. So, and if you are done with that, you could always then move back the original general MIDI files if you love the general MIDI files <laughs> into that place. I did not check with the Triton plugins. I guess it might work the same because also with the Triton plugins, you cannot import your own sounds and maybe it's the same way, but I did not check. So it's up to you for your homework to check out that as well. And I hope this was helpful to you. And until next time, make some fun music.